Governor Walker was in Milwaukee today also to get a first-hand look at the construction for the new arena for the Milwaukee Bucks. Yeah, the playoff-bound Milwaukee Bucks. Ben Jordan live with that story. Ben? George and Carol, just like many of us, Governor Walker says he is quite surprised with how quickly this arena is taking shape. Now, thanks to a warmer winter, this project is already 45% complete. Inside the future Bucks Arena, cranes are in the air and crews are scattered throughout. All in front of a special guest, Governor Scott Walker in a hard hat. Walker says he sees this project not only as a great way to revitalize downtown, but also as a good state investment. We're proud of the fact that we did it in a way that ultimately will uh, provide $3 or return over the next 20 years for every dollar the state put in. Just under two years ago, Walker signed legislation to spend 250 million taxpayer dollars on the arena, with 80 million in reduced state funds to Milwaukee County, a plan that once faced fierce opposition. You know, you never want to spend money that can be used to, to help people, but uh, I don't control those dollars. Walker believes public perception is changing as the structure hits the skyline. With the new stadium being built, um, it's time to rally around the Bucks now. We're right on schedule. We're in budget. Bucks President Peter Fagan says cement has been laid on just about half of the concourse where seating will be installed. At the end of this month, we'll start the steel construction of the roof, which is the spans. That means 500 workers will climb to about 800 over the next few months to be fully enclosed by Thanksgiving. The lingering question, who will land the naming rights? Fagan says they're still talking to several prospects. I'd say all of them have a Wisconsin presence and all of them have a national and international uh, business as well. And the new Bucks Arena is still on schedule to be finished by July of 2018. I'm told so far there have been no significant injuries on the job site. Reporting live in downtown Milwaukee, Ben Jordan, today's TMJ4. That's good news. Thank you, Ben.